now present Leo. Okay. So you, you guys, you guys take the wheel on this. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, you can go first if you'd like. Okay. <clears throat> I hate him. I can't stand. I can't stand present Leo. He is so aggravating. He takes yeah. things. He takes things not seriously whatsoever. He thinks about only himself. And when 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 things are currently seeing like he could see things falling apart, but yet he still he still just you know I don't know the right words. <laughs> I actually feel that upset. Like he sees every bad thing that's happening, but yet he still doesn't listen. Yeah. No. He's just. It's like. He's so bullheaded throughout the entire film. And I know you have to have characters have negative traits to, like, you know, kind of be, uh, you know, make a story interesting. Because, like, that at the yeah. end of the day, if the characters only has good traits, then they're uh, Gary Sue or Mary Sue. But Leo is unfortunately a re uh, representation of what not to do with a character who's trying to be a leader type. Because I think instead of portraying him like that you should have portrayed him as one of those types of characters where they're like hey um you know like listen to me but then they're like you know the things that they're doing is getting them hurt so then it makes them realize oh i need to be better but leo in this film is just super aggravating he seems very entitled throughout the entirety of it almost like um <clears throat> He didn't earn anything from the show. Now, obviously, I haven't seen all of the show, so I can't say if that's, you know, correct or not. But in general, that was the vibe I got from him throughout the entirety of it. He did learn at the end. Later half, Leo, I'm fine with him because it fixes that issue. But latter half, or not la latter half, but um, the half before that, he is just in theory, like, he just in uh, infuriates me a lot. Yeah, uh, as a guy who's actually seen the show, real quick before you continue to slide, as a guy who's seen the show, yeah, Leo was like that too, although they toned him down a bit to where he, he was more level-headed, but still took situations a bit, just a bit seriously though, but but, but his movie is like, oh, oh they, well, they toned him down real badly here, because like, in the show, Leo wasn't that arrogant or like that so entitled, because in the show, he, he was he, he was more like, come on, relax, guys. Don't take this too seriously. Like, he, he was more like that. Not like, come on, guys, fault me. Do what I do. Cause I, I, obviously, I know what I'm doing. You guys don't. Like, it was it was a weird thing to see happen. I just didn't like that. I didn't like beginning Leo. I just, I just can't stand him. It was actually kind of hard to watch uh, the movie, actually, without saying Leo. <sighs> it was hard to say anything, but go ahead and slide now. So, for me... Uh, I have no gripes of beginning Leo. Uh, near the end of near the end of the movie, I love the fight with him and Krang, just Leo mm -hmm. and Krang by himself on the ship. I got a huge, uh, huge vibe of the ending of Sly Four, because Sly fights the main baddie on this blimp and they're going through a portal through time. Obviously they're not, but they're going through a portal through time and it's just Sly and the villain. And I got huge Sly vibes from that. And I love that Leo sacrificed his life himself to save everybody on Earth from Krang. Mm. And that, that mm. was just, for me, that was just a heart, that was a heartbreaking. I can see that too. Uh, Especially at the at the end of it, where where I thought they was actually going to kill off President Leo. That's what I thought yeah. would happen. I was like, oh, that'll be kind of ballsy to kill him off like that. But okay, of course they, they bring mm -hmm. him back in the end. But um, honestly, I kind of maybe it's just me, but I think it'd be a lot more impactful. If they actually lost Leo in the yeah, exactly. movie. Exactly. That would be more yeah. impactful. If they actually lost so, him. So, so. Or at least he would have been trapped in that realm with Krang. I think that yeah. would have been cool. Because then mm -hmm. it would have given a more... like Because obviously they were doing it just so they could wrap up Rise in case it doesn't get another season. But if they were to do that and they would have kept him in there, then that could have been the plot of one of the next seasons is that Leo is stuck in the Krang's dimension and that they're trying to get him. Exactly. And that would be really... Yeah. Mm. All right, then.